explain it. But the way that it is, the way that we score very good. So here's an example of our stones, our stone that is marked. Here's the example of our slide, our unmarked bone. This is the one that we are looking for. So those players will be hiding these bones behind them. And then when they're ready, they'll bring them out in front. And then once all the bones are shown, it's up to the other team to make a choice. They can pick the left hand, the right hands, the middle hands, or the outside hands because there's two sets of bones. So the way score is kept is we have sticks, tie sticks that it's a lock. So lock it is. So each team will start out with an even number of bones, and then as people guess incorrectly, bone the uh, tally sticks are passed back and forth. Gameplay continues until one team has all of the along, all of the tally sticks. So today, again, we said traditionally, these are two teams going against each other that are from their own families and have their own songs. For today's purpose, our side was to do all of the singing for both sides. But traditionally, we would have our own songs and they would have their own songs. And it's kind of like you know, the power of the slaw comes from the songs. So, with that, that cover everything? So, of course, what we like to do first, and, and I'm glad that we opened up with a song, we want to make sure our floor is always clear. We do not, folks, do not walk in the middle of the gameplay. They do not cross sides on the gameplay. You do not get up and leave once the game is started. So it's very like it's a very fun game, but there are traditional rules that we will follow, just like we do every day. So with that, I think we're gonna go ahead and get started. Are we gonna win our uh, geek talk wheel or just go for it? All right, we're just gonna go for it. So we're gonna select our captains. So our captains are going to be Miss Lugs on on the teacher side, and is are you able to see? Probably going to have to be Chris and Spring in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to pick our captains. The captains are in charge of making sure the sticks are exchanged correctly, and they are also in charge of selecting who is going to hold the ball for their team and who is going to point on the other team. So the captain is like the HCR of your team. So uh, as far as the kick stick, they just play some uh, rock, paper, scissors or something between the captains. Traditionally, we would do a, a little bit different when we are figuring out who's going to get the kick stick. The kick stick is the First stick that exchanges hands, and it's the last stick that will cross over to the other team. Or the last stick that will be alive. <laughs> Alright, one, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. Alright, so the staff has one big stick. They won both of the bones. So traditionally, they would be singing. They would start singing, and it's up to us on our side. We're going to figure out who's going to point. It's going to be David Turner's seat. It's going to be our pointer initially. And then I guess you just kind of have to observe the game. This is a cool thing that we get to do at, at Chief Les High School. And it's the right time of the year to start going. So, with that, it's going to go for it.
like this, more like this, not like that, not like this, this is different. This is different. So, so what just happened? Doesn't happen very often. But uh, so the very first pick that David made, he found both of the females. It's very, very happy. So now what what happens is we take the the, the hall over to our side, and then we we, we would start singing. And it's up to these folks and their captain to figure out who is going to be doing the pointing.